Today we're going to be looking at convertible Roadster Spider topless versions of supercars in GTA 5. So this is something I wish Rockstar had embraced a little bit more from day one. Now technically Rockstar do have topless versions of some supercars in the game. I think the only one is the Coil Voltic, but there isn't a convertible option for it. There aren't mainstream normal vehicles that have spider variants or roadster variants. Most of the convertible and topless options you see in game appear on sports cars, coupes, and sedans. Uh, so Rockstar have added them into the game, which is cool, but they've never really done this to the supercar category. And that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. So let's start with vehicle number one, and that is the Pegasi Zintorno Roadster. How beautiful does this look? So this is a completely new car. It's a Roadster version of the Zintorno. And this, in my opinion, just looks absolutely beautiful. So there's a couple other modifications done to this vehicle, like a different set of headlights, a different hood, a unique spoiler, different attributes of the splitter and the diffuser on the front and back. But needless to say, the Pegasi Zintorno looks absolutely beautiful in a roadless variant. I mean, look at this. It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, you can see how the car has been modified just a little bit to become the Roadster or Spider variant. Now, it's not going to be that way for every car we're looking at today, which some of them are a little bit awkward. But by far, the Zintorno that you're looking at right now is the best of them all. It has the modified seats that if you were to accidentally flip your car over, you would still be okay. Your head wouldn't get crushed. But this car looks amazing. And this is something I definitely think Rockstar should consider. And this would be a smart play for them. Let me explain why. For some vehicles like these supercars, they could have Spider or Roadster variants. And maybe they could make it cost $100,000 more. And Rockstar could do it like they did the old Benny's vehicles. You know, you could have a normal variant, and then you could have a Spider variant or Roadster variant. Now, I'm not sure what Rockstar would call it in their fictional universe. Um, maybe it's a Cabrio variant. I don't know. Uh, but I think that would be super easy for Rockstar to do. And on the in-game websites, they wouldn't even necessarily need to have separate like vehicle boxes. Just once you click in, you could click a normal version or a Roadster version. So this again, in my opinion, looks absolutely incredible. This, of course, is the first vehicle we're looking at today. The Roadster is in Torno. I think this is the best looking one we're going to look at today. Although I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. We're going to be looking at a handful of supercars. So which one do you think is the best looking Roadster variant? Uh, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. Let's move on to another supercar, and that is the Overflawed Entity XF. So this one I think also looks really good as a Roadster topless spider variant. So this one has been modified as well so that the seats in the back of the car will actually protect you if you were to roll it over. Now I will say, this uh, looks a little bit more awkward than the Zintorno. It's something to do with like the front windscreen. It almost looks as if it just peels off and becomes invisible. But the rest of this car looks really good as a topless variant. Now thankfully, since we're doing this in GTA 5 single player, I was actually able to roll down all of the windows. That needs to be an option uh, in like the Grand Theft Auto Online vehicle feature thingy. You know how you can like open the doors and turn on the headlights? You need to have an option to roll down your windows because some of these topless spider road surveillance look so odd with the windows still up. So I'm glad that in single player you can roll those down. But the Entity XF looks really good actually. And that's another thing I really didn't mention on the Zintorno is when you're driving these cars, they look so beautiful to like go from that top down view and then like look in the inside of the car instead of just seeing the roof. So that's another nice feature as well. And in first person, if you happen to drive in first person too, just being able to look up into the world, see the sky or the buildings or the towers, it's a really awesome instead of looking at the closed off roof of a vehicle. So again, another great feature of having vehicles like this. The next vehicle we're gonna be looking at today is the Pegasi Vaca. I know what you guys are saying, Mr. Boss, that doesn't look like a convertible or topless version. It looks like it's got a weird soft top on. Well, it does, and you're right. And if I flip forward a little bit more, boom, you can see that now it has been removed. So this is, would be a pretty cool option and a pretty cool variant of the Vaca if it did have a soft top convertible variant. Now, obviously, there's no animation for it because we're in single player and this is single player mods. But how cool would it be if, you know, Lamborghinis or Pegasi vehicles like this 
had those soft top convertible options. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is not, that's not the only modification that's been made to the Vaca. You guys can see the engine is in the back and they've actually added a vanity hood option. So you've got the top down and you can see the engine on the inside which is really cool. And that's another thing about some of these vehicles is Rockstar would have to change some of their models. A really good example of that is the Obey 9F. That convertible option is completely different than the non-convertible option. In the non-convertible op option, you can see straight into the engine bay. And that has a lot to do with the design of the car. If you have a roof that can fold back, it's obviously gotta fit somewhere. So Rockstar would have to change the design of maybe some of the vehicles to get them to fit and obviously make them look like their normal vehicle. So uh, I guess in some ways, going back to my point earlier, they would have to change the designs up, maybe just a little bit. Okay, moving on, the next vehicle we're gonna be looking at isn't a supercar, but I figured it would work so well. So you guys remember the Coil Brawler? Uh, this car came out and I think one of the ill-gotten gains DLCs. Well, we're actually gonna be turning this into a topless variant too. Now, the model of this car has actually been updated as well. There's a bunch of different design elements too, including a roll bar in the back. And this is what a topless, roofless version of the Coil Brawler would look like. And I'm not gonna lie, even though this isn't a supercar, I feel like it works really well. The Coil Brawler is sort of this like off-road sports car. And I feel like if you're gonna be going off-roading, you wanna you know, have your hair in the wind a little bit. So having the roof open there and having it exposed is obviously really cool. You can see uh, there's different exhaust options, there's different logos on there. So this creator did a really good job with this vehicle, but the Coil Brawler looks awesome as a topless variant. And even though it's not a supercar, I, I definitely wanted to include it in this video uh, because it, it looks really cool. I think it looks awesome. So that's another vehicle right there that I think deserves a topless variant in Grand Theft Auto Online. Moving on, the next vehicle we're gonna be looking at, I'm not gonna lie, is a little awkward, but I had the opportunity to add it into the game, so I figured, why not? And that is the LG RH8, the, the GTR, a topless convertible version of the GTR. I'm not gonna lie, this one looks a little bit awkward. It might be the mod itself. It almost looks like the, the front windscreen is literally just like floating and held up by nothing. Uh, but it's still a pretty cool concept. And I like the design. Maybe it's because I modified it a little bit too much. Like I put the, the spoiler on there, the, the big diffusers, and maybe that looks a little ridiculous for a convertible, for a spider topless model. But overall, I thought it still looks pretty cool to add it into this video today. And I, again, the more options we have on vehicles, the more I think they look pretty cool. And I definitely think, I don't even know, do they make convertible versions of GTRs? Probably not. Uh, but if they did, it would be cool to see them in GTA Online. The next vehicle looks kind of awkward as well. I apologize for this one. That is the Bravado Gauntlet. Now, this is pretty cool. The, the gauntlets are based off of what, the, the modern day looking challengers. Yeah, I don't think they make topless or convertible versions of these, but it's still so cool to be able to drive down the road and to be able to see in the inside of the car. This would be the first, I think, topless muscle car in the game. Now that I think about it, out of all the muscle car choices, this one might be the best for a convertible option. I don't know. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Maybe it was my color scheme that I chose, like this orange and black. Maybe that didn't look so great. But either way, the Gauntlet is still a really, really cool car. Um, I almost wish they had done multiple upgrades of this vehicle in game, like a Bravado Gauntlet Custom or Retro Custom. Uh, but a convertible version would be still really cool too. That's another vehicle that I would love to see Rockstar add into the game as a topless convertible spider option, whatever you want to call it. And moving on, our final vehicle today. You're going to laugh at me here, but this one actually looks amazing. And that is the Faction Donk Custom. So the donk looks unbelievable with no roof on it, which is amazing. You wouldn't think that this vehicle would look all that great, but with no roof on there, it looks like something straight out of GTA San Andreas. I absolutely love the vibe I'm getting from this vehicle as a convertible option. And it's by far the car with the most customization as obviously it's a Benny's vehicle, so it has interior upgrades and liveries. So the interiors look amazing as you're looking at them from a bird's eye view while driving on the road. The liveries obviously look super cool. Now you do lose a little bit of it because you don't see the livery on the roof, but it still looks pretty good. I had a Sprunk livery on mine and I, and I thought it looked absolutely awesome. So that right there is a nice handful of convertible topless spider roadster cars that I'd love to see added in GT 
GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. Out of all the vehicles we looked at today, which one do you think looked the best and which one would you like to see added into the game if Rockstar decided to do that? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, where you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.